The two-time reigning ACHA Women's Division II champions Assiniboine Community College Cougars make their only trip to Sault Ste. Marie this hockey season. Tonight, it's the clash between the two top teams in the ACHA. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Sioux College Cougars Hockey. My name is Mike Armitage, and I'll have the play-by-play -play for tonight's game between the Sioux College Cougars and the two-time reigning, defending ACHA Division II women's champions, the Assiniboine Community College Cougars. The Cougars from Assiniboine will start the line of Turner, Dixon, and Thompson. On defense, Ramsey and Fisher. And Sioux College will start the line of Brazo. And the Coors, Grohl on defense. Brunette and Nevue, and starting in goal for your Sioux College Cougars will be number 30, Emily Hansen. Has Turner, the reigning MVP of the league, number 14 for Assiniboine. And we're underway here in game number one between these two powerhouse teams. Sioux College with the puck. Brunette to Nevio quickly to LaCourse. LaCourse didn't have that pass. And Thompson. Thompson back in the Sioux College zone. Brunette hands it off to Grolo. And Grolo just got rid of it. And that went by Fisher down the ice. No icing. Fisher on the far side to Dixon. Dixon was stopped there by Grolo. But Thompson picks it up and she was checked by Brazo. Who needs a change? Outlet pass to Grolo down the left side. Jasmine Grolo, number 15, around Fisher in front of the net. And that was number seven, Haley McLaughlin. So she was picked up as a free agent this past week by Sioux College, and she had a chance. Then shoots right on. And the starting goaltender, Jenny.
Hardy, sorry, Geneva Penner makes her first good stop of the game. Geneva Penner comes into this game with a record of six wins and no losses. Goes against average a .50 and a .966 save percentage. Awesome numbers for the starting goaltender from Assiniboine. Assiniboine picks up the puck on the far side. And Fouillard down the right side, but that was offside. Has number 10, Eden Julie Roberts. Was a half a step ahead of the play. And the whistle goes. 18.57 left in the first period. Still no score here in game number one. Carlson lost that puck to Fouillard. And she was checked. Back comes Emily, number six. Across the ice, down the right side, number six, one on three. And Penner easily steered that aside. And Lee dumps it back in. She needs a change. And Eska Kogan falls awkwardly on the boards. Barsanti on the far side lost that puck to Julie Roberts. And Daly was dumped, but there's play goes right on. Eska Kogan. Nice pass to Daly. Daly was checked and dumped. That still has the puck. And that was a weak shot, and that was covered up by Penner. 18-18 left in the first period. Still no score here at the Rankin Arena. A beautiful but cold evening in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. The Coors winning that draw back to Brazel. Back to Thibault. Shoots. That was blocked in front of the goal. Brazel shoots. The other one was blocked in front of that. That was the second block shot. Burnett has the puck in front of that. Whoa! Oh, what a save that was! Another shot! And Penner under siege early in the first period with two glorious chances. And a left pad save keeps the score at zeros. 17.55 left in the first period. No score. Brazel right off the draw pushes that puck behind the net. Turner. Oh, that pass on the stick of Ramsey. Ramsey over the line. And Thompson was a step offside. Number 19, Emily Thompson. The 19-year-old was a half a step ahead of the play. And that's the second offside that Assiniboine has had so far. Assiniboine control the puck off the draw. Emily Thompson on the left side. Shoots. Now is a left pad saved by Hansen. Carlson, off the boards, flipped high in the air by Lee, right to Turner, and they're going to call that a glove pass, and the faceoff will come outside the Zoo College zone, 17.34 left in the first period, no score in game number one, and the Cinnabon wins that draw, Dixon to Fisher, to Turner, and that was cut off by Moore. Turner coming in, trying to get the puck, but Moore steals it. And Emily Moore trying to get that puck to a streaking Haley McLaughlin, number seven. McLaughlin took a sway by that one, but missed. And a battle behind the Assiniboine goal. Moore trying to get at it, and the whistle goes. 17:07 left in the first period. And the faceoff will come to the right of Geneva Penner. Barsani winning that draw back to Brunette. And now it's dumped back inside behind the Assiniboine goal. Carnegie on the near wall for Gaffrey. Gaffrey up ahead to Dixon. That puck was stuck in Brunette's skates. And she gets it on the far side to Venn. Now the shot. Oh, and that one was blocked by Venn, and she felt that one. As that one off the inside of her skate. Camille Venn, number 14. Off she goes. Camille Venn gives it back to Brunette. Brunette shoots, and that one got through. And Penner easily takes out of side. And Julia Roberts. Oh, let that to Haliak. Haliak shoots. That was blocked by Venn. Brunette to Brazel. And she was checked. 
And Fouillard dumps the puck back. And Hanson will keep it there for Carlson. Amy Carlson, number 21 for the Cougars. To Grolo, and she missed that pass. Picked off there by Shearer. Shearer was checked by Brazo, but couldn't get the puck. Back come Assiniboine. And number nine, Jensen Shearer in behind. Way right in front of the Cougars goal. And that was Carlson who passed out. Two on one. Brazo and Grolo. Brazo. Ready and shoots. And that went off the shoulder of Geneva Penner. Up high over the glass. And out of play. With 15.39 left in the first period. We're tied at zeros here in game number one. Of this two game series. Between the two top teams in the ACHA. And Turner. Gets the puck off the draw. Out to Thompson. Thompson has a break. Thompson right in. And Hanson with a huge save. That was her best of this early first period. And Hanson keeps the score at zeros with a big save. As she swallowed that puck up. 15-27 left in the first period. Turner back to Fisher. Turner let that one go and Brunette has the puck. She was checked by Thompson. Turner bumped off the puck there by Moore. Moore to McLaughlin. And McLaughlin gives it back to Nevue. Nevue turns and goes behind her net. Nevue. And that one almost given away, but it got out. And down the ice. And Mackenzie Dixon checked there by McLaughlin. But Turner... Oh, let that pass. Thompson trying to fight Brunette for the puck, but Brunette wins that battle. Brunette to Lee. Lee lost that puck to number four, Emma Ramsey, but has it back. And gives that to Eska Kogan. Shoots! That was blocked by Gaffrey. Turner looking for a loose puck. Couldn't find it. Ramsey in behind her own net. Gives it off to Carnegie. Carnegie bumped there by Megan Daly. And Carnegie has the puck again, being bothered there by Barsani. And there's going to be a penalty on the play to the Sioux College Cougars. And it'll be the captain, Olivia Barsani, who will sit for two minutes or less. And the call will be roughing. Not sure how that's roughing. She had her stick tied up with her own stick. However, the first power play of the night will go to Assiniboine with 11.49 left in the first period. The Cougars need a big kill. And Dixon in behind her own net. So that was Hallier, Halliak on the far corner. Back to... They are! Oh, and that one just went wide of the goal. That was close. As Bellagie let that one rip from the point. Balaje has it again. One-timer. That went off a stick in front of the net. Picked up by Haliak. To Dixon. Dixon. Shoots. And that was blocked by Ben. But Julia Roberts has the puck. Back to Balaje. And that's going to be picked off by Ben, who shoots it down the ice. And the Cougars changing penalty killers. As the Cinnaboyne sets it up behind their own net. Aiden, Julia Roberts being bothered by Brazo. Dishes that up to Ramsey. Ramsey to Thompson. Turner looking for something in front of that. In front of that, there was nobody there. Except the stick of Sophie Tebow and she shot it down the ice. And Penner will tee it up for Haliak. Haliak brings it up. And Turner, sorry, that was Thompson, number 19, checked. There, by LaCours. And Brazel fighting for the puck with Halyuk. And the puck ends up back inside the Assiniboine zone. Kathleen Fisher. Oh, let that pass was to nobody. And Brunette drives it back down. And Emily Moore will be there first. Gets by Halyuk. Short-handed. Moore, oh, it's shot wide. Good work by number 24 for the Sioux College Cougars, Emily Moore. And number 15, 
Melchuk gives it off to Turner. Back to Melchuk. Melchuk. She was checked by Carlson. And Carlson got it out into the center ice area. And the penalty is over. Sioux College back to full strength. And Jaden Nevy over skates that in the far side. She gave it away. But Hanson was right there with a big chopper. And she covered it up. 11.56 left in the first period. Still no score here in game number one. Assiniboine 0 for 1 on the power play. Cougars 1 for 1 and 0 on the penalty kill. Oh, fed draw! And that was a shot high and wide by Peyton Malchik. Right off the draw. And a missed assignment there by the Sioux College Cougars in their own zone. And number 3, Elise Barrage decides to go back the other way to Ems Finneson. She was checked on the far side. The puck comes back to Camille Venn. Shoots! That was blocked in front of that. And the Cinnaboyne gets it out. Now I'll check. <clears throat> Just gave it away to Venn. And Venn sweeps it across to Brunette. Brunette. She was dumped. And there's going to be a penalty on the play to number three. Elise Barrage. And she will sit in the box for two or less. And that call will be tripping. And the Sioux College Cougars will get their first power play chance of the game. And we'll see if they can muster any offense against Geneva Penner and the Assiniboine College Cougars. Moore wins that. Draw. She was taken down in front of that. And that was McLaughlin giving it off to Moore. To Brunette. Brunette. In front of McLaughlin took a swipe at that and she didn't get much on that one. Brunette with a nice job to keep the puck inside the zone. And that puck by Gaffrey fired around the far side to Emily Thompson who gets it down the ice. And Jaden Nevy quickly. McLaughlin leaves it there for Lee. Lee is run right onto the boards by number 11, Casey Finnewald. Fouliard, sorry. And Fouliard gets the puck. But she was checked by Brunette, who pinches in. Loves to do that, does Brunette. Over to Jaden Nevue. Off the far boards to Emily Moore. Moore. Oh, and that pass was meant for Brunette. What a good play by number 11, Casey Fouliard. To knock that puck out. And the puck comes out into the center ice area. Brazel. Around Fouliard. Brazel was poke checked. By the Assiniboine defender, and the puck goes around the far side. Carlson will be there to keep it in. And that jumped over the core stick. And that pass comes from behind the net. And that was just outside the line. Barsani was there, but the puck was outside the line. And that was offside. 40 seconds left in the power play. 9.51 left in the first period. Still no score here in game number one. Brazel couldn't handle that pass, but Groves takes it, hands it off to Brazel, number 27, and she was checked. And the Cinnaboyne hops on the puck, and Kathleen Fisher dumps it down the ice. Brazel will be there first to pick up the puck, hands it off to Amy Carlson. And Emily Moore had trouble with that pass, so she has to start again. Picked off! That cross ice pass was picked off by number eight. Keeley M's Finnison, but no damage was done. And the Sioux College power play is over. Both teams 0 for 1 on the power play. Lee dumps the puck high over the boards and into the bench of the Assiniboine Community College Cougars. 9.05 left in the first period. Still no score here in game number one. Both sides trading chances, but nobody has yet to find the back of the net. Then, Tebow, all the way down the ice through everybody. And Lacey Caffrey is there first. Turner, hands that off. The number seven, Megan Carnegie, 
She was checked by Barsani. Then, off the boards to Daly. She was tripped. Howiak. And that comes to Camille Venn. Megan Daly off the boards. Barsani couldn't get there, and the puck comes back inside the Sioux College zone. Sophie Tebow in behind her own net. Off the boards to Eshka Kogan. And she was checked by number 12, Lacey Gaffrey, and the puck comes out into the center ice area. The course is pinched off by the Assiniboine winger, Haliak. Just got it out, and the puck's bouncing around the neutral zone. Picked up by Ramsey, dumped in to Camille Venn. There's going to be another penalty on the play. Shoots! Oh! And two Assiniboine Cougars were left all alone in front of the net. How did that happen? Holy cow, there was two players all by themselves. And Coach Chinook will have to figure that one out because there was nobody close but Hanson bailed his team out once again. And there's a penalty on the play to Megan Daly, number 22 for the Sioux College Cougars. So Assiniboine goes back to the power play with 7.53 left in the first period. Doak. Has the puck at the blue line. Samantha Doak moving to the center. On the far side to Turner. Turner in front of that. And now it's deflected. In front of the goal, but Hanson was there to keep the puck out. And that play took 12 seconds. 7.41 left in the first period. 1.48 left in the power play. Still no score here in game number one between these two powerful teams. We thought maybe we would see a lot of scoring, but the goaltenders are incredible for both teams. With numbers to back it up, Brunette on the near side, and she gets it out down the ice. And that'll go right to Penner. And she'll have to cover the puck up as number 27, Brazo, good hustle to get down there. As we look at number 27, Brooke Brazo, she leads all rookie scoring with 32 points, 17 goals, 15 assists. Brunette has the puck, and that puck went behind Brazel. And Assiniboine coming out. Emma Thompson on the far side to Turner. Turner in the far corner. Back to Carnegie. Carnegie over to Turner. Back pass and behind the net to Thompson. Back to Turner. Gaffrey lurking in front of the net. Simone Turner has the puck. She's second in league scoring. Only behind MP LaCours of the Sioux College Cougars. In front of the net, but that was blocked by Brazo. And Brazo will lead two on one. That was offside. They let it go. Lee. Oh, and that was short handed. And we might have been a replay if that would have scored because that looked offside, but they let it go. Back comes Turner. Down the right side, Turner rips one, Hanson juggles it, and covers it up. And number 30, Emma, Emily Hanson has been solid so far for the Sioux College Cougars. 8.25 left in the first period. 32 seconds left in the power play. Assiniboine. And that's Haliak, number 17. Back to Dixon, to Haliak. Haliak back to Dixon. Across to Shearer. Shearer. Cruising through, going around the college goal. In for the goal! Oh, that was a swing and a miss by number 11, Kelsey Fouillard. And she had a one-timer, but she missed it. And that puck goes wide of the goal. And Shearer picks it up. And the Sioux College Cougars penalty is over. And they're back to full strength. Carlson has the puck in her own zone. Gives it off to Camille Venn. And that pass went to nobody. Haliak going to dump that back in deep inside the Cougar zone. Amy Carlson picks it up. Trying to find more. That bounces off the skate. Right to Emily. To grow but she was checked. And that was a sh long shot by number 10, Aiden Julia Roberts. Handled easily 
by the Sioux College goaltender, the North Bay native, Emily Hansen. She wears number 30 for the Cougars. And Hansen comes into the game with eight wins and no losses. A .63 goals against average and a .935 save percentage. Outstanding numbers for the young lady from North Bay, Ontario. As she sets it up on a tee for Emily Brunette. And Brunette off the boards, trying to pass it to herself, and does. She likes to rush, does the Timmins native Emily Brunette. And Geneva Penner will have to hang out of the puck. As Brazo was barreling down. 4.52 left in the first period. Still no score. Brunette with the puck. And Eska Colgan was dumped on the near boards. Barsani in front of the goal. And Daly took a swing at that one. But couldn't get much on it. And Penner stopped it. 4.42 left in the first period. We're all tied at zeros. We're live from the Rankin Arena in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario with these two powerhouse teams. But there's been no goals yet. Emma Thompson on the far side, kept in by Tebow. Stolen by Dealey. And that puck ends up back on Dealey's stick, number 22. She was checked from high, gets it back. Oh, and that was a shot high over top of the goal. Barsani took a swing at that one. And that was picked up by Assiniboine on the stick of number 19, Thompson. Picked up by number four, Ramsey. Shoots! Right on! And that was a weak shot by Emma Ramsey. And Hanson was there once again with four minutes and six seconds left in the first period. No score. Nevue was pickpocketed there by number 10, Aiden Julia Roberts. Thompson coming in to help out. Picked up there by McLaughlin. Back pass there. But that was picked up by McLaughlin again. And she bounced that off the boards. Emily couldn't get there in time. And number nine, Jaden Jensen Shear picks it up for a Cinnaboyne. And that's given to number 10. Roberts, but she was checked by Moore, who dumps it in. And Penner will stop it in behind the net for number eight. Ems Finneson. Carlson's going to keep that in on the near boards. Shoots. That one goes wide of the goal. On the far side, Haliak, number 17. Up to number 11, Julie Roberts. She is tripped by number 14, 24. Jaden. And that'll be Emily Moore, and she'll sit in the box. And the Assiniboine Cougars will go back to the power play. And Sioux College has to be careful because Assiniboine has some firepower. And if they get some power plays, they could do some damage. 7-14 left in the first period. No score. Puck comes back. Oh, and him. The puck scrambled in front of the goal. And it's picked up by number 12, Gaffrey. Gaffrey in the corner to Thompson. Thompson to Turner. Turner walks into one, but she fanned on it. Rolo up to LaCours. LaCours one-on-one with Carnegie. And LaCours killing some time in the far corner. And Turner comes and picks it up. Bounces that up to T Thompson. Thompson. And that was a nice interception there off the pass by Van. And it comes back down. And Penner will have to tee it up there for Dixon. Brazo causing problems with Dixon. And Dixon still has the puck. Has it up there to Gaffrey. Gaffrey to Turner. Turner checked by Lee, and that could be offside. And it is. It is offside. As Gaffrey ended up going in ahead of the puck. And the whistle goes. 2.12 left in the first period. 58 seconds left in the power play for Assiniboine. 
Ben being all muscled there by Melichick. Melichick. Back to number nine. Cheer. Cheer. I don't want Tyler. By Dixon, and she didn't get anything on that. And the puck ends up back down inside the Assiniboine zone. Penner off the far boards, but McLaughlin will be there first. Killing some time in the far corner is McLaughlin, number seven. And finally, Assiniboine picks up the puck. Fouillard through center, three on two. Drops it to Heliak. Heliak shoots, that was blocked by Carlson. And the puck bounced around on the stick of Melchuk. Back to the point. Gaffrey shoots, and that one went wide of the goal. Heliak shoots. That was a high shot, and it went well through the net, through the crease, sorry. And Tebow gets it out and back inside the Assiniboine zone. And the Cougars are back to full strength. Halleck being checked by the Coors. Coors, two on one. The Coors. What a play that was by the Coors. And the puck's at the side of the goal. And somebody went flying through the air. And there's going to be a penalty on the play. To the Assiniboine Cougars. It'll be number seven, Megan Carnegie. And she'll go off. And that'll be two minutes for interference. And the Cougars will get their second power play chance of the game. We're under a minute to go. 55 seconds left in the first period. And the Cougars win the draw. Zach shoots, and that one goes wide of the goal. Emily, number six, back to Brunette. She couldn't keep it in, but good job to get back in time. Brunette. And the puck comes to Emily, number six, over the line. In for the goal! And Brazo chipped it high over top of the goal. Brazo again on the short side. Another shot. Rebound! And finally, Assiniboine gets it out. And back, just inside the Sioux College zone. Nevue to Lee. Back to Nevue. To Brunette. Brazo and Brunette. Lee to Brazo. And she didn't have a lap pass, but it comes to Moore. Nevue over to Brunette. Oh, and that went off her skate. And outside, five seconds left in the period. Brunette to Lee. Over the line. And there's the buzzer. The first period is over. Pretty even first period of play. Chances at both ends. Penalties on both teams. Power plays for both teams. And the score is tied at zeros. And we'll be back in about 13 minutes time with the second period of play. You're watching Sioux College Cougars Hockey on the official Sioux College YouTube channel.
Welcome back inside the Rankin Arena in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario on a beautiful but brisk Friday evening as we get ready to start the second period of play in game number one of this two-game homestand between the Assiniboine Community College Cougars and the hometown Sioux College Cougars. The first period was pretty even both sides. Good scoring chances, penalties, penalty kills, power plays. But nobody found the twine. So we'll start the second period. All tied up at zeros. Turner. Thompson. And Halliak up front for a Cinnaboyne. Sioux College up front. McLaughlin. Moore. And Lee. McLaughlin just dumped up. And she gave that away but worked hard to get it back. MOE. Shoots, short side, and Penner was right there. Puck comes back to Barsani. Barsani. Carlson. Shoots. That was deflected wide of the goal. And Penner covers it up with McLaughlin lurking ever so dangerously in front of the goal. 19.38 left. 35 seconds left. In the Sioux College power play. Sioux College winning that draw. Comes back over to Nevue. Jaden Nevue just dumps it in. And that's going to be intercepted. Oh, and it went over the stick of Ems Finneson. But gets it back. Good work by number nine. And she gets it down the ice. And that'll be Emily Brunette back to pick up the puck for the Sioux College Cougars. And she overskated. Has to start again. And gives it across the ice to Emily Moore. Moore. That bounced off the stick of Lee. And it comes out into the center ice area. Emily Moore picks it up and dumps it inside the Assiniboine zone. Brazel trying to beat Finneson to the puck, but couldn't. And Finneson gives it to Halliak. And Halliak gets it down the ice. And Brunette will start again. And the penalty is over. Assiniboine back to full strength early in the second period. Brunette. Fighting for the puck on the far side. And it comes back to the point. Fisher just shot that one wide of the goal. Picked up again by Brunette. Bodied off the puck there by number 11, Fouillard. And Brunette comes out with the puck. Checked on the near boards by number 10, Julia Roberts. And the puck comes over on the other side. Two college can't get the puck out. Finally they do. Brazo! Trying to chip it to herself, but chipped it too far ahead. And the puck comes back to the center ice area. And back comes the center boy, number 18, Mackenzie Dixon. Picked off by Carlson. Trying to find Barsani. Instead, she found the center boy. Barsani trying to get the puck in the far corner. Megan Daly has the puck in behind the center boy goal. Daly. Back to Ven. Ven shoots the puck in behind the Assiniboine goal. Emily Moore trying to get there first. Eska Kogan in front of the goal. And the puck is kept in nicely by Camille Ven. And the puck comes all the way around to Emily Moore. Moore picks it up. Nice move. Ball, but she couldn't handle pop the puck. And the puck scoots by Amy Carlson, who has to come back and get it. She bounces it off to nobody. And Carnegie just shot that in. Carlson over to Camille Venn. Venn off the stick of McLaughlin. And the puck quickly comes back in. It's offside, so a center line has to tag up. And that gives Carlson lots of time to get it out. McLaughlin, she was stopped by Carnegie. Moore, McLaughlin, she missed it. And Ben dumps it back in the near corner. That went by Emily on the stick of number 17, Madison Halyuk. And Thibault for Grohl. Grohl, she fired it across the ice. LaCours stops, shoots, rebound. There isn't one. And Geneva Penner. 
with her first good stop of the second period. 16.07 left in the second period. We're still awaiting the first goal of the hockey game. And the Cinnaboyne, Turner, right off the faceoff, being bothered by Tebow. Turner pushing the pace, and she falls gently in the boards, but seems to be okay. Turner has the puck again in front of the net, and Brazo coming to knock the puck away. Oh, that pass, Brazo, and she was checked by the Assiniboine defender. Quickly, Simone Turner, number 14. She was poke checked by Brunette. Turner has the puck, drops it off to number four. Fire goal! One time shot. Oh, and that was a hard shot by Madis Mc by Mackenzie Dixon, but it went over top of the goal. Turner looking for a loose puck, but the whistle goes. With 15:22 left in the second period, still no score. Mackenzie Dixon ripped one high, and Hanson couldn't have seen it because she didn't really move. That went through about eight bodies, but it was too high over top of the goal. Assiniboine right off the faceoff, but Carlson comes up with it. And that was off the stick of Daly down the ice. And that certainly looked like Daly touched it on the Assiniboine side of the center ice. But I guess not, as the official rules that it was icing. So the faceoff will come back. To the left of Emily Hansen. 15-12 left in the second period. A single point winning the draw. Hard shot, and that went off something, but it deflected wide of the goal. That was Fisher that took that shot. <clears throat> and the puck comes to Megan Daly. She lost it. That puck goes by Carlson. And Fouillard is there first. And Fouillard has the puck in the far corner. Bounce that one off Carlson. Fouillard back to the point. Fisher shoots again. That one goes wide of the goal. Dixon. That's Doak. Doak in behind the goal being bothered there by Nevu. In comes Barsani and Haliak. Two big girls fighting for the puck. Haliak comes out with the puck. Around Drops it off and gets it back. Oh, and there goes a stick. High in the air. Holy cow. That one almost got caught in the rafters. And Madison Halyak is going to get two minutes for interference. For that. And the Cougars of Sioux College will go back to the power play. 14-15 left in the second period. Razzo winning the draw. And that pass by the quarters was nowhere near Nephew. And it comes all the way back inside the two college zone. Razzo hands it off to the quarters. The quarters drops it for Grohl. Rollo to the course. And that puck goes off a stick. Brunette shoots. Wide of the goal. The course. Grohl behind the net. The course. And the whistle goes. And the net come off. It's Moorings with 127 left in the power play. 1342 left in the second period. Still no score. Here in game number one, had a beautiful Rankin Arena, and what a crowd we have. Looks like a full house, packed all the way around. As the officials are discussing something on the far side, with assistant coach Bronson Kovacs. Whatever it is, they got it figured out. And we're set to go. Razzle 
Waiting that try to LaCours. LaCours, Brazel. Being bothered, but still has it. Brazel, poke check. And the puck's going to come out over the line. Thompson, one on one with Nevue, but Nevue checks. Thompson, LaCours. She was poke checked. Burnett, swing and a miss. Here comes Turner. Looking for something shorthanded, but decides she needs a change. Under a minute to go in the Sioux College power play. Jaden Nevue. Right up the middle, she gave that away. But ends up on the stick of the Coors. And she just dumps it in. And the Cinnaboyne will get it back down the ice. Neither team on the power play. Very potent so far in game number one. 30 seconds left in the power play. Moore drops it off for Brunette. But Julie Roberts was there first. In front of the net! Shoots! What a shot that was by Fouillard, short-handed, as she was left all by herself in front of the goal. And that's the second time that's happened to the Cougars. And so far, no damage. McLaughlin over the line. Number seven drops out for Lee. Shoots! And that was a nice right pad saved by Penner. And the Cinnaboyne back to full strength. Another good quality penalty kill by the visiting team here in game number one. Malchuk on the left side. Shoots it in. And Hanson decides to let it go. Hermitage. She lets it go. To Moore. Moore back to Armitage. Armitage kicks it to herself. She was tripped. And the puck comes back to Malchuk. In front of the goal. And there was nobody there. Carnegie on the far side. Armitage gets it out. Couldn't get it out, but gives it to Moore. There we go. Moore up to Daly. Daly shoots. That one off a stick. Oh, and it went wide of the goal. What a shot up that was. Back. Come to boy, but Carlson's there to pick it off. Camille then to Daly, and she needs a change as she goes off. Barsani, they didn't fire the goal, and that was swiped away by Carnegie. Good play by number seven from Assiniboine. And Sophie Tebow, number 18 for Sioux College. Back for the buck, and she gave that away up the center. And Carnegie into Thompson, but Thompson overskated the puck. Tebow to Brazo. Brazo gave that away to Finneson, but gets it back. Couldn't get it out. Brazo again. Gives it away. Turner. <coughs> that was a shot by number eight, Finneson. And the puck's in the far corner. Two Cougars and two Assiniboine Cougars fighting for the puck. Brazo in front of net. Gets it out of harm's way. Right on the stick of the Assiniboine foot. Right in front of the goal again. Sioux College trying to get out of their own zone. Finally they do. <clears throat> and number nine, Jensen Shearer. Gets that puck on the stick of Sophie Thibault. And Mamma Lee couldn't catch that pass. And the, the Assiniboine goaltender. Come out with a nice save on the blocker side by Geneva Penner. That was Emily with that quick wrist shot. And Nevue couldn't keep it in, but Carlson's back quickly. Carlson to Lee. She found on that one, couldn't get it out. Moore looking for it. Goes on the stick of McLaughlin to Moore to Lee. Lee shoots. And that was a tricky wobbler that Geneva Penner had to be careful with. But she covered it up. And the whistle goes. 9.26 left in the second period. We're more than halfway through this game number one. And nobody has still yet to find the back of the net. Pretty even game so far. Both sides, good scoring chances. Goaltenders absolutely fantastic. And both goaltenders, Penner and Hansen, have the numbers to back it up. And that draw was won by the Assiniboine player, Casey Fouliard. Assiniboine, Carlson pitching in, couldn't get it. Haliak, one-on-one -on -one with Nevue, shoots! That was blocked by Nevue, Haliak. 
Back to Fisher. Fisher shoots. Oh, and that one off a glove. But it was wide of the goal. Assiniboine pounces on the puck. In front of that. And Halyak swung it a miss. Halyak again on the puck. In behind the Cougars goal. Being bothered there by Barsani. Daly trying to get the puck out. And gets it to Armitage. Armitage decides to shoot the puck deep. And change him up. Good play by Armitage to get the puck deep. So often you see the puck come in and it doesn't get very far in the zone. And your team gets chopped. But the puck got deep. For now, what a nice play to keep it in. On the stick of Brazo. In for a goal. Rebound was cleared away. Brunette with another shot. Oh, and I don't think Penner saw that one. That was a hard shot. Went off somebody in front of the goal. Halyak. Steering it to the side. Brazo. And that was blocked by Penner. And she jumped on that puck. Some good pressure here by the Sioux College Cougars halfway through the hockey game. But Geneva Penner coming up huge again. Keeping the goose eggs on the scoreboard. 8.15 left in the second period. Still no score between these two ACHA powerhouse teams. Brazo shoots. Oh, and that one went off something in front of that and bounced up. But Penner was there. What another good stop. 8.19 left in the second period. Well, not it up at zeros. Burnett has the puck to Venn. Camille Venn, the Sault Ste. Marie native. Shoots. Oh, and that was deflected by Grolo wide of the goal. The course. She was checked. But it goes on the stick of Brazo. Four in it. Oh, and Grolo. What a glorious chance that Jasmine Grolo had. And she ripped it off the chest of Geneva Penner. Carnegie, high off the glass. And out. Finally, they get it out. And it's going to be icing on the play. And the two players, Brunette and Boulanger, go Brunette and Malchuk go crashing into the boards. And they both skate away unscathed from that collision. Moore, Moore, McLaughlin, and Lee up front for the Cougars. 7.35 left in the second period. Still no score. We're waiting for someone to break the tie. Carlson, that was blocked by Thompson, but couldn't get loose. Moore, shoots, that was blocked in front of that by Turner. Lee. Put that on the stick of number 12, Caffrey. And Caffrey dumps it off the glass and out. Thompson around Carlson. And for goal, rebound. Oh, and that was a nice save by Hansen. Turner being bothered by Carlson. Where's the puck? It's on the stick of Simone Turner. Back to Gaffrey. Gaffrey across to number eight. Finnison. Lee intercepts that. Back come the Sioux College Cougars. Emily down the far side. Being bothered there by Finnison. Finnison, the bigger player. Rubs Lee off in the corner. And the referee's in the fight for the puck. And the Cinnabon comes out with the puck. Oh, and that was a bad pass. Up the center. But Barsani missed it. Armitage has the puck. And that pass was to Nevu. Daly. Down the far side, shoots. Oh, and that was a rebound there if there was anybody there. Daly, right by Armitage. Daly. In the corner, Armitage gonna be there first. Alexis Armitage, number five, with the puck. Backhand shot, rebound. Oh, and Bush Sandy shot it high over top of the goal. She had a glorious chance to break the tie. And Grohl, trying to get it deep. Good shift there by the Cougars. Back comes Emma Thompson. Number 19. Fifth in league scoring. Shoots! And Hanson steers that aside. And Cinnaboy in front of the goal. And that's picked off by Cinnaboy. And that puck goes over the stick of Halyak. That could be close to too many players on the ice. Oh, and that's another close. The Cougars! Shoots! Oh, and she rang that one off the crossbar. 
That looked like it went off the shoulder of Penner, off the crossbar, and up into the netting. Another glorious chance for the Cougars as they've had the better chances in the second period so far. 5.26 left in the second period. Cougars winning that draw. Grohl gets it again to Brazo. Brazo in the near corner, number 27. The rookie leader in scoring. In front of it! Tails! And we'll see who they give it to. And it could have been Jasmine Grohl who scored. And that's who it looks like it is. Number 15, Jasmine Grohl. Picks the tie. Here with 514 left in the first period. And the Sioux College Cougars strike first in game number one. Holy cow! What a goal that was. And they're going to give it to Jasmine Grohl. And Grohl, who has 16 goals on the air, just got her 17th. Goal of the season, Jasmine Grohl. Cooks who call it for more. More not steered aside by Penner. Moore was impeded there a little bit, but no call on the play. Back comes Doak. Picked off, but Doak knocked it in. And Tebow decided to get it out. And Shearer up to Doak again. But she couldn't keep it in. Finnison. Oh, that was close. As McLaughlin had a break, but it hopped over a stick. McLaughlin, number seven. Shoots. And that was a weak shot. Right wide of the goal. And the puck comes back inside. The Sioux College zone. Jaden Nevue. To Burnett. Burnett to Barsani. Barsani to Armitage. Armitage number five. And behind the net, she overskated it. Barsani. Sorry, that was Daly. Working to get the puck back. She does. Armitage tops it to Barsani. Barsani. Across. Oh, and she tried to go through the legs of Carnegie, but couldn't get there. Emily Thompson, number 19. She's in the top five of scoring in the ACHA this season. And she's looking to even the score. Turner lurking dangerously in front of goal, but couldn't get the puck. Back comes the course. And she was checked at the line. Brazo gives it off to Grohl. Grohl brought the puck in, but someone was offside in the course was in just ahead of the puck. 1-0 Sioux College with 3.17 left in the first period. What a game we have here at an aging but beautiful Rankin Arena in Sioux St. Marie, Ontario. And Kathleen Fisher trying to get it out. Gets it back on the stick of Haliak. And Haliak dumps it in. And then was there to get the puck. Gives it off to Carlson. Carlson was checked by Moore. Comes Emily Moore, number 24. Emily Moore, one-on-one, -on -one, shoots. That was blocked. And Halliak picks up the puck. Off the boards. And by then, here comes Fouillard, number 11. But Brunette gets there in time to cut her off. And Brunette. That was a shot there by number 18, Mackenzie Dixon. And that went on the stick of Camille Venn. And she shot the puck down the ice. And that will be icing on the Sioux College Cougars. And they are an entire group, and they can't change. Two twenty-eight left in the second period. Sioux College holding on to a slim one-nothing lead. Brunette has the puck in her own zone to Lee. 
up to Armitage. And that puck comes out into the neutral area. Picked up by Finnison. And to Kiamzi. Armitage to Lee. Shoots a quick shot. Emily with a quick shot. And Penner was sharp. What a good save to keep it 1 0. Emily Thompson, number 19, with Turner lurking. Is she going to get it? Turner shoots. Oh, and she ripped that one wide of the goal. Carnegie keeps the puck in on the far side to Ramsey, to Turner. Turner on the far side, the captain of the Assiniboine Cougars, being bodied over there by Barsani. And the puck goes back to Simone Turner. But Brunette checked her. Bailey trying to get there in time. And the puck ends up on the stick of the Assiniboine player in the far side. Barsani trying to get the puck. And it's being held in the corner. Turner looking for a loose puck as well. And the referee saying play it. So they're playing it. Well, not really. And finally, the official blows the whistle. 111 left in the second period. Sioux College 1. And the Assiniboine Community College Cougars. No score. Assiniboine. Lee. Emily Thompson. In far goal. Oh, what a save that was. On a beautiful shot by Emma Ramsey. And Emily Hansen stuck that left pad out. And it was just like glue. There was no rebound. The puck stuck to the pad. Good stop by the North Bay native. Number 30. 104 left in the second period. Brazel wins that draw. Back to Carlson. Carlson pinched off. The Coors were under a minute to go in the second period. And the puck squirted out. Nobody saw it initially in the Coors. Now they have a scrum on the far side. Nice move around Brazo, but Carlson has the puck. And the puck. Oh, Brazo, nice play to get the puck. Brazo and Grolo, two on two. Brazo shoots, rebound, and fell in that. And Penner finds it first. With 21, 25 seconds left in the second period. Sioux College hanging on to a 1-0 lead. Carlson to Nevue. Nevue shoots. That was blocked in front of the net. And that's Fouillard with the puck. And it comes in behind the Assiniboine goal. Ramsey. Sorry, that was Fisher, number five. But Lee has the puck for the Sioux College to Moore. Moore trying to get in front of that. That was blocked by Penner. And the puck just lying there. Two seconds left in the period. And the buzzer goes. And after 40 minutes of play, the Sioux College Cougars lead the Assiniboine Community College Cougars by a score of one to nothing. Unlike the first period, which was pretty even, Sioux College had the better play in the second period with more scoring chances. And they finally found the back of the net with one of them. And we'll be back with the third period of play in about 13 minutes. You're watching Sioux College Cougars Hockey on the official Sioux College Cougars YouTube channel.
been wasting it. Must be hard on the next morning.
Welcome back inside the Rankin Arena in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. After 40 minutes of play, the Sioux College Cougars lead the Assiniboine Community College Cougars by a score of 1 to nothing. Jasmine Guolo doing the damage in the second period as she gets her 14th of the season. As we get set for the third period, here we go. Razzle. To Brunette, Brunette, Rolo. And she missed that, that one off. Brazo high in the air. The Coors in front of the goal. And Penner was lucky that that deflected wide of the goal. Brazo goes flying through there. The Coors shoots that. And Geneva Penner easily snags that out of the air. 1941 left in the third period. Sioux College won. A boy, no score. That goes right on the stick of Turner to Emily Thompson. Thompson around Nevue. And that pass went wide of the goal. Thompson and Nevue fighting for the puck. And it comes on the near boards to Grolo. Grolo to Brazo. Brazo one on one with Dixon. Brazo fans on that. And that pass comes out over the line. And there goes Ramsey as she shoots the puck deep inside the Sioux College zone. Camille then on the far side. Assiniboine is offside, so they got to tag up. Emily to Moore. Moore couldn't have that one. And it comes to Lee. Back to Carlson. Carlson on the stick of Emily, number six. And that pass was behind Moore. Carlson swipes at it. Give it to McLaughlin. McLaughlin. Not much on that pass, but it made it back to Carlson. Carlson to Moore. Couldn't have that one. And that pass, that was a shot by Casey Fouillard. And that was fluttering, and Hanson had to be sharp as she picked that out of the air with 18.36 left in the third period. Two college one. And a Cinnaboyne, no score. Julie Roberts with a shot. And that deflected over to Daly. Megan Daly, number 22, fighting on the far side. And that's going to be picked up by Assiniboine. Armitage with a nice play. The poke checker player, Finneson, who's stepping into the slot, ready to shoot. Halliak drops it off for Dixon. The puck sitting there. Halliak, Barsani, Armitage. There goes Alexis Armitage down the left side. In front of the goal, and Penner steers it aside. Back comes Assiniboine, number 11. Fouillard, she shot that wide of the goal. Dixon, Dixon, Brunette. Emily Brunette loves to rush the puck. Isn't she a beauty? That one, number two. In front of the goal, that went off Grolo Skate. Jasmine Grohl, the goal scorer for Sioux College. Looking for number two. Tebow in front of the goal. And there was no Sioux College player there. Tebow again. That went by Brazo to Grohl. Grohl leaves it for the course. Back to Grohl, but she wasn't expecting that. And Doak on the far side gets the puck out. Brazo to Moore, to, to Brunette. Up to the course. Liqueurs 
the league's leading scorer, number nine, MP of course, number nine. Oh, and she missed McLaughlin. That pass was behind Haley McLaughlin, number seven. So it comes all the way back down. In the Sioux College zone, Brunette trying to get out. That one off a skate. So Brunette's going to try again to Nevue. Back to the near side. Turner, not the player you want to have with the puck. In the offensive zone. Rebound! Oh! And Thompson was right there. And she was hooked down by Emily, and that could have prevented a goal. Brunette. Nice, beautiful play there was by Lee to get the puck out. And she was rubbed out by number 12, Lacey Gaffrey. And that will result in a Sioux College power play. And Gaffrey will sit for two minutes or less. And that will be an interference call. With 16.05 left in the third period, Sioux College looking to add to the 1 0 lead. With all the firepower that Assiniboine has, Sioux College will want more than one goal. Carlson over the line. Still has it. Carlson backhand that was steered aside by Penner. Lee, but couldn't control it off her skate. And now it's dumped down the ice. And Emily Hansen will tee it up for Olivia Barsani, the captain of the Sioux College Cougars. On the far side to Emily Moore. Up to Brazel. But that was off a skate. And she couldn't get it. Hansen will leave it there for Moore. Moore. And that was out of the reach of Jasmine Grohl. And the puck's going to come back. Halliak. Around Carlson. Stops. Nice play there by Halleck, number 17. And Emily Moore. Up to Brazo. 2 on 2. Brazo and Grolo. Brazo gives it to Grolo. Back to Brazo. She lost it. And foul and all. Brunette. That one off a stick. But it's going to go right to Jaden Nevue. Nevue. And she passed it all the way across. There was nobody there. And the finally, Assiniboine gets the puck out. Back come the Cougars, LaCours. Over the line, LaCours! And that was just batted away from Grolo as she was looking for number two. And there's going to be another penalty there as Emily Burnett just ended the Sioux College power play with an interference penalty of her own. And in 27 seconds, Assiniboine will go to the power play. And that's not what Sioux College is looking for here. Up by one. A 14.36 left in the third period. Four on four hockey. Turner and Thompson out for Assiniboine. All kinds of scoring power there, those two players. Cinnaboy shoots. Oh, and Hanson with a nice save. And the rebound was there. Finnison in front of that. Oh, and how did he miss? Turner miss that one. Up Turner miss out a point blank shot. And a better save by Hanson. Lee. To Moore in front of the goal. And the Cinnaboy is now on the power play. Looking to tie the game up. But Assiniboine has a player that's hurt. And that is number seven, Megan Carnegie. But she's up and heading to the bench under her own power. So she looks to be okay, which is good news for the Assiniboine Cougars. 116 left in the power play. 17.52 left in the third period. Assiniboine with the puck. Off the draw. Thompson. Sorry. Up to Turner. Turner. Number 14. Simone Turner. The reigning MVP of the league. Simone Turner. The captain. 
of Assiniboine to Emily Thompson, number 19. Back to Turner. Shoots! Right on! Where is it? And Hanson didn't know where it was either as she reaches back. And the puck is stuck under her pads. And the whistle goes. 54 seconds left in the power play. 17.35 left in the third period. And Ben gets the puck down the ice. Roll, trying to get there. But Penner hands it off. And back quickly come Assiniboine, Thompson, Turner. Shoots! That went off a stick. Right on the stick of Fouillard to Thompson. Fouillard, oh, and that went off something in front of the goal. Oh, and that was a shot by Shear, but there was nothing much on it, but it went wide of the goal. Turner, Thompson, and Turner! And she missed that return pass. The quarters finally gets it out into the center ice area. 15 seconds left in the power play for Assiniboine. And the puck is going to be on the stick of Camille Venn. And she gets it down the ice. And that'll do it for the Assiniboine power play as Emily Burnett is back on the ice. And Thibault gets the puck deep inside the Assiniboine zone. Belanger back to get it. But Carlson will be there to keep it in to Moore. Moore back, decides to turn around, but she lost it. And the puck comes out. One on one. Here comes Julia Roberts. She was checked from behind by Carlson. Julia Roberts. Number 10. And Moore picks it up behind her own goal. 12, 12 minutes left in the third period. Lee being bothered by big number 17, Megan Halliak. And Assiniboine gathers the puck in. Halliak on the right side. Couldn't have a pass. Carlson. Gets it out. Carlson and Kaylee. Carlson shoots. And that was a weak shot that Penner steered aside easily. Back comes number 10, Julie Roberts. And Armitage picked that off. Good play by Armitage to get in the way. Assiniboine, number 12, Lacey Gaffrey has the puck. And that was gently shot down the ice. And that could be icing. And that will be icing on Assiniboine. With 11.14 left in the third period. It's hard to see the clock here from our vantage point. It looks like 11.14 left in the third period. Sioux College up by one. Assiniboine winning that draw. But Brazo in front of that! And Grolo! Oh, how did Grolo miss that one? And Grolo had another glorious chance to add to Sioux College's lead. And there's going to be a penalty on the play to Assiniboine, number 12. Lacey Gaffrey will sit again for roughing as she pretty much tackled Jasmine Grolo in front of the goal. And Sioux College will go back to the power play and look to add to the lead. 11.04 left in the third period. Assiniboine winning that draw. That's coming all the way around. Thompson. Can she get the puck out? No. But then Jaden Shearer, Jensen Shearer came in and got the puck down the ice. <clears throat> Back comes to call it Brazo. That went off a stick. And Shearer couldn't get it out. Nevue. Rebound. Oh, and Puck was lying there. And Gro will come in. Looking for a loose Puck. But Penner had covered it up. Ten and a half minutes left in the third period. 91 seconds left. In the, in the power play. Here comes Thompson. Carlson reached racing. And Carlson with a nice play to get it to Moore. Moore down the right side, cutting to the center. Moore! And that went off something in front of the goal. And it skidded right in 
to Geneva Penner. And she gobbled it up with 10-15 left in the third period. 75 seconds left in the power play. Sioux College. That, but Moore shoots. That was a stop by Penner. That was a hard shot by only Moore. And the puck comes around the far side. Julia Roberts gets the puck down the ice. And Malchuk. Hold down. In foul goal. As she hold down Carlson. Cut the puck. Brazo. Down the left side. She was poke checked but still has it. Oh and she almost had Barsani. And a nice play. By number 11. Casey Fouillard. To get the puck deep inside the Sioux College zone. Brazo. Down the left side. One on three. And she was checked. Brazo has it again, but it's in her skates. And on the far side, Julie Roberts gets the puck down the ice. 15 seconds left in the power play as Hanson steers it to the side. Nevue to Brunette. Brunette stops. Goes the other way. Emily Brunette, number two. Carrying the puck through the neutral zone. Drops it off for Brazo. And the penalty's over. Brazo trying to hit Rolo. But that was intercepted. And then dishes it off back to Brooke Brazo. 27 to Brunette. She was checked. Back comes Julie Roberts. Shooting the puck in the far side. Simone Turner for Armitage. Armitage off the board to LaCours. MP LaCours. Nice move there. LaCours. Shoots! No rebound! As LaCours had a nice low shot looking for a rebound. And Penner made a nice save as there was no rebound. As the puck sticks to Penner just like it sticks to Hanson. Not many rebounds in tonight's game so far. Eight and a half minutes left in the third period. Barsani to Armitage. Back to Carlson. Carlson. Nice play to pinch and keep that in. And the puck goes up. In the netting. And out of play. And there's a nice souvenir puck for one of the fans here at the Rankin Arena. Enjoying this awesome game between these two ACHA powerful teams. Barsani winning that back to Carlson. To Ben. And Ben made the safe play. Not getting caught. Back comes Assiniboine. Thompson. The Turner Bell is behind her. Armitage poke checked her player. Armitage, nice play there. Barsani getting a skate in the way. Carlson. And Armitage decided to go off. She could have had a break. Barsani working hard. In front of the goal. And Olivia Barsani couldn't get a pass penner. Emily Thompson. On the far side, that was blocked by Venn. Camille Venn. She was checked by Julia, by Fouillard. On the far side, Gaffrey being bothered by Moore. Emily Thompson coming in to help out. Simone Turner working on the far side for a loose puck. Venn just dumps it into Emily off the backboards. In for a goal! It scores! Emily Moore has scored for Sioux College. And they've just doubled their lead to 2 to nothing. With 17, with 7.16 left in the second period. Emily Moore buries one. And the score is now Sioux College 2. Assiniboine no score. And the Cinnaboyne will have to start pressing now with seven minutes left. In the third period, LaCours. The puck bounces to Grolo. Grolo. In. That one off a skate. Back comes the Cinnaboyne. Number three, Elise Barrage. Over the line, blocked by Carlson. Carlson being bothered there by Melchuk. And the puck comes out to Brazel. She's hooked from behind. 
by Melchuk, but no call. And it's picked up by Gaffrey. And Tebow. Oh, Tebow gave it away. Oh, my. What a save that was by Hansen. As Tebow gave that away. 15 feet in front of the net. Holy cow. The Sioux College Cougars bench was holding the breath on that one. But Hansen came up big again. And the score remains. Sioux College 2. And a Cinnaboy no score. That puck goes high over top of the goal. Ramsey on the far side. That puck bounces to Barsani. To Daly. Daly couldn't get the puck out. Halyak shoots. And Hansen was there again. With that big chopper. Like a first baseman. Picks it out of the air. 6.18 left in the third period. Barsani on the draw for the Cougars. And Julie Roberts in behind the goal to Halyak. Halyak and Barsani. Oh, and there's a penalty to Barsani. And big Madison Halyak went down pretty easy on that play. And Barsani will go to the box with six minutes left in the third period. And Assiniboine down by two. They will go back to the power play. Emily Thompson and Simone Turner. Assiniboine's big gunners have been silent so far. We'll see if they can break out of it right here. And the referee saying that Camille Van couldn't come on the ice. And Brunette tried to get it out, but it was blocked. The course shot was blocked as well. So the Cougars are stuck in their own zone. Emily Thompson being bothered by Brunette. Fruliard coming in to help out. And Shear on the far side. Intercepted by Nebu. Kept in by Shear. Shoots! And that went off Thompson. Right to Turner. Turner on the near boards. Decides to turn. Gives it off to Thompson in the far corner. In front of the goal! And Turner deflected it wide of the goal. A center point on the puck again. Back to Shear. Shear. A one time shot. Oh, and that one went off Brunette. And she felt that one. Rebound! And Hansen has it. That was a wicked shot by Madison Dixon, a one-timer. And that went off Brunette. And she felt that one. And Hansen was big again. Five minutes and six seconds left in the third period. 108 left. End of Assiniboine power play. Assiniboine winning that draw. Cheer. One-time shot by Julie Roberts looking for a deflection. Didn't get it. Owen Shearer couldn't hold it in. And it comes back inside the Assiniboine zone. Shearer decides to stop. Hands it off to her defense partner. Off the boards. And they just gave it away. And then rips one. As if she had a beef with someone on the Assiniboine bench. As she ripped that one right into the Assiniboine bench. 4.45 left in the third period. 2-0 Sioux College. 44 seconds left in the Assiniboine power play. That's been silent so far in tonight's game. Assiniboine winning the draw. Back to Gaffrey. Gaffrey to Haliak. Check by Carlson, but Haliak has it back. Haliak, number 17. Back to Gaffrey. Into Haliak. Haliak with the puck to Gaffrey. Shoots! Right on! And that shot hit Emily Hansen right in the belly button. So there was no rebound as she swallowed that up. Nice play by Hansen. No rebound. 4.20 left in the third period. 20 seconds left in the power play. 
And that puck goes behind the Sioux College zone goal. Lee trying to fight for the puck. And she was taken down. No penalty on the play. And that'll do it for the Cinnaboyne power play. As the Cougars are back to full strength. What a play that was by Lee. Back to number 12, Gaffrey. Into Belchuk. And there's going to be a penalty there. To who? To a Cinnaboy, number 12. Lacey Gaffrey. The Assiniboine coach won't be impressed with that as that's her third trip to the box in this game. And when you're down by two, you don't need to be taking penalties 200 feet from your net. Sioux College back to the power play with 3.45 left in the third period. Sioux College up by a pair. And Assiniboine trying to get control of the puck in their own zone. And it comes out, and Fouillard dumps it down the ice. And Hansen will leave it there for Jaden Nevue. Emily Brunette, number two, Razzle, skating through the neutral zone into the Assiniboine zone. Razzle still has it. Number 27 still has it. Brooke Brazel, the rookie leader in scoring, back to Nevue. Shoots that one off a stick. And a good play by Fouillard to get it down the ice. And Carnegie will be the first one there. And she hands it off when Emily Brunette plays for Sioux College. So back comes Sioux College on the power play. Brunette around Turner. Brunette shoots. Now it's seared aside easily by Penner. The puck's in behind the Assiniboine Cole. The Coors in the far side. This is it off back. Brazel trying to get there. Couldn't get there in time. And the puck is shot down the ice by Ems Finnison. Good play by Nip. That was Emily Moore to get the puck. And McLaughlin stepped on the puck. Fell down. Nullified that chance. Moore. She lost the puck to Carnegie, and Carnegie just dumped it in. Barsani. That was behind Moore, but she got the puck anyway. Moore. To McLaughlin, number seven. To Moore. Shoots! Right on! And that hit. The Geneva Penner. Right in the crest. No rebound. One under two minutes to go in the third period. Six seconds left in the Sioux College power play. And Carlson couldn't keep it in, but gets back in time to Camille Venn. She gave that away, but gets it back. And she gave it away again. And Kathleen Fisher will be back to get the puck. That went off the course glove. In fair goal! And the Cinnaboyne, here they come. And that's Haliak. One on one with Carlson. Haliak, and the net is empty as the Cinnaboyne has pulled the goalie with 70 seconds left in that third period. Then the goal. Goal couldn't get it out. Haliak, in for goal. And Thompson missed the pass as she had an open net. Ams Finnison. And then, Halyak couldn't quite come outside the zone. And the whistle goes. With 62 seconds left in the third period, Sioux College up by a pair. And an empty net. Barsanti, Armitage, Daly, Tebow, and Brunette all out for the college. And it looks like a Cinnaboyne has called their timeout. And they will and they will discuss how they can score two goals on Sioux College Cougars and goaltender Emily Hansen, who has been absolutely outstanding so far in game number one. 
of this two game homestand between the top two rated teams in the United States of America Division II Women's American Collegiate Hockey Association we're 62 seconds away from a Sioux College victory in game number one and the net remains empty as Geneva Penner has been good as well except but Sioux College found a way to get the puck behind her both times, two times and it looks as though Penner will be back in the goal at least initially and if Sioux College could get control of the puck and get it down there she won't be able to leave Barsani on the draw and she couldn't get it so Assiniboine has it and Penner goes to the bench and we're under a minute left in the third period Brunette circling behind her own net Brunette gave it away Rio comes out Oh, and that one went off. Armitage got a stick in the way. Armitage gets it out. And there it goes. Down the ice. And that went off a stick, it looked like. But apparently not. As icing is the play. Here's the call. With 32 seconds left in the third period, the Sioux College can't change. And the Cinnaboyne can pick the side they want the face off on. So Barsani and Fouillard on the draw. A Cinnaboyne wins that draw. And the puck went off something in front of that. Where is it? Rebound! And the puck comes in the corner. Another shot. That one off Brunette. Haliak has the puck. Another shot, Hanson right there. As Heliak tried the short side, but Hanson shut the door with 18 seconds left in the third period. Sioux College still up by a pair. Another shot, one timer by Julia Roberts. And that went wide of the goal. Thompson rubbing her player out in behind the net. Six seconds left. And there's going to be a penalty on the play to Assiniboine. Number 19, Emily Thompson. And she's one of the big scorers. And that takes her out of the game. And she's got two minutes for holding. What, 4.7 seconds left in the third period. It's not going to matter now as Sioux College will get the win in four seconds to make it official. And there it is! The buzzer that ends the third period and the final score in game number one. The Sioux College Cougars two. And the Assiniboine Community College Cougars, no score. Jasmine Guru and Emily Moore found the net for the Sioux College Cougars. And Emily Hansen in increases her win total to nine wins and no losses. Next action for the Sioux College Cougars right here at the Rankin Arena. Tomorrow afternoon at 12.30 against the same Assiniboine Community College Cougars where these two ACHA powerhouse teams will go for game number two in the two-game series for head coach Brian Chuck and the entire Sioux College Cougars hockey team. My name is Mike Armitage. Thanks for watching and good night from the Rankin Arena in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario.